Am I talking or are you talking? You're, it's your channel. I I don't know. Hi everybody. Shit. Hi. <laughs> I, I'm so like I'm uh, anyway. Hi everyone. Welcome to the Red Hair Inn. Um, I'm yeah. sorry, Renee. It wouldn't be a Red Hair Inn if the if the intro wasn't bungled, right? For fucking real. Um, <laughs> <sighs> but welcome to the Red Hair Inn. Uh, I am not your innkeeper or your dungeon master today, uh, but a humble patron like yourselves here to be a part of a tale that the wonderful Rene Beauregard is going to run for me. Um, we will be, the two of us, raising money uh, for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital to help um, help St. Jude with their research. But no, to, to help um, fight childhood cancers and other diseases, uh, ensuring that our children grow up in you know, the safest and healthiest way possible. Um, yeah, you guys can use yeah. the QR code that's below our battle mat that's in the center. Um, and then I will also put in a link right now for y'all if you want to donate. And donations um, are all through Tiltify. They go directly to uh, St. Jude. Uh, additionally, there are different rewards that you can bestow upon myself or bestow upon Renee, depending on whether or not you want to help the player or GM. Um, there are three tiers of rewards for $5. You can give one of us advantage or disadvantage for $10. You can give, I think, the, Ooh, I, hmm, I did say for you or for me. So you could give one of us a magic item, um, or magical care package. And that I just, oh, man, uh, somebody's going to put that in and give you like something crazy. Uh, there is a, there is a requirement on there. I believe we said rare or less. Um, that's right. And then for $20, you can give one of us a crit success or a crit fail uh, for us to use uh, any time of our choosing. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Yeah. Uh, so thank you all for joining us. Uh, I appreciate everybody who's here saying hello uh, in our chat. Hello to all of our friends and companions and comrades uh, alike. We really appreciate you coming out. Um, this is something that we've kind of been like quietly planning for like a little while, uh, but I'm really glad that we get to do this. Uh, I've been running this for the initiative order for a couple weeks uh, now, and it's uh, it's been a labor of love, and uh, I can't I can't tell you enough how much I've enjoyed running this game. Um, we we capped off in the initiative order um, with uh, TTRPG Ellie. Uh, you can find on Twitter who won with a total whopping 69 nice points uh, for her edition of uh, this game uh, because you can run it uh, in a points version where you can run multiple people through it and who, however many people accrue the most amount of points wins. Um, and this year, uh, the winner was uh, gifted a donation to a charity of their choice in their name. So we donated $25 to the Edmonton Food Banks. Um, donate to your local food bank whenever you can. Give food whenever you can, because it, especially in the wintertime and in these times of need, um, it is very important that we support our, uh, our local humans as much as possible, um, because giving is great and giving is kind and giving is important um which is why i do games like this i will always do games like this because giving is important um so thank you logan for uh, having me here to allow me to run this game for you um there are some people in the chat who have uh been run through this version uh of this game uh they will know what is happening to a degree because some of them lasted others did not uh, so we'll see what, uh, Logan or Swanson cask hands, uh, is going to get himself up to in this adventure. Um, so, uh, Logan, uh, you're going to keep tabs on donations for me. Mm -hmm. Um, so that if anything comes up, you just let me know who gets what and where. Um, so hopefully, uh, you'll get some help. I, I can actually tell everybody at home. Uh, that Logan paid for his own advantage. Listen, um, I need. Hmm. Why are you? I mean, you're, <laughs> let's be honest. You're gonna need. All I'm the gonna help need you it. Get. I, uh, you know, I could have given myself a magical item or a crit, but I chose to handicap myself. 
Um, we got forty dollars just right now from Haley, so we both get uh, crit successes. Um, oh, okay. Yes. So that puts you that at puts one at advantage. One advantage. Three crits. Three crits. Correct. And uh, the way that the way that these are going to get doled out, uh, so that you guys at home can follow along, and make it really easy. Uh, there is going to be a pool where we can pull from, whether it's advantage or disadvantage, crit fail, crit success. Um, the person who has that is going to be able to pull uh, that crit success or advantage whenever they want. Uh, if it's a failure, the other person is going to put that upon them. Um, just to kind of make it even and easy to follow for both of us. Um, if a magic item does appear, Logan, I will uh, concede that I do not require magic items uh, because I am going to defeat you whether you like it or not. Um, it's it's an inevitability. I am, I, mean, I am inevitable. I mean, I am um, I'm nervous. I've heard stories of individuals playing for two or three hours and only getting like single digit points. Um, yep. So that makes me scared. Uh, but I'm nonetheless excited to to do this in the name of charity and in the name of good fun. Um, absolutely. Now, my question for you, sir, we didn't talk about this earlier. Did you want me to keep tabs of how many points you've accrued this game? Um, I'd like to. I, I mean, it's going to be obviously with a handicap, given the fact that there will be some advantages that I sure for sure will be getting. Um, but I I don't I don't blame you. Uh, <laughs> I don't blame anybody at home who wants to help Logan. Um, so please uh, help Logan. He's going going to need it because I will do everything I can to trounce him uh, because this game is unforgiving. Um, uh, the OKS DM is in the chat. He knows, Dennis knows how unforgiving this mm -hmm. game is. Um, so uh, if there's anything else, sir, uh, we can potentially get started um, uh -huh. because no, promos think... oh, are shit, for that... later. Oh, shit. Haley made us breach our goal. I completely forgot we were that, that oh, close. Oh, hey. Um, thanks, so Haley. we met our goal. We reached our goal. Fuck, hey yeah. Thank you, Haley. Um we are going to say what I will do if we get to $200 donated, uh, we'll give mm. away. Hmm, is 200 too easy? No, no. I, I mean, or, let's, yeah, let, let's, let's do 200. You want to do the full set? You want to do the yeah, full set? Uh, 200 set. or you want to do two, a D20? Full set. Let's do, let's do a full set of yeah. umbral Oculus dice from the wonderful Terran yeah. Hackett. Um, and when Absolutely. we get to when we get to two hundred dice, we'll give one away. We'll see where we get. Um, when we get to two hundred dice, not dollars, but two hundred dollars, dice. Two hundred dice. Only <laughs> only then. Um, but no, two hundred dollars uh, donated. Then we'll we'll give away yeah, some dice. We'll but get it, when we get to two hundred dollars. We'll we'll let uh, we'll let loose a set of umbral oculus dice to whoever is in in the chat. Um, and uh, so if you if you all pitch in a little bit here and there, you might uh, you might just earn yourself some dice. Uh, and Logan could use some advantage. And if you can spare a latte, Logan could use your help. Yes. I mean, or you could give me disadvantage. I mean, that's always fun. That's fun. Um, but yeah. Whenever. So we'll we'll save all the promos for later because this is about fun times, game times. Promos are for later. Mm -hmm. But I think now is time that we step into tonight's game. Um, you've all seen the title. I hope you know what's happening because it's going to become incredibly clear to those of you who have seen the movie for which this adventure is based on. On the eve of the Winter Festival, jo director Josefina Takagi has invited one of your close friends to a party to celebrate a successful year at your friend's company, the Nagatomi cloning facility. Not wanting to go alone, your friend invited you to the party and for whatever reason befits you, you decided to join them. The party requested that all weapons, arms, armor, and even magic items be left behind. Your friend assured you that the facility is very safe. High atop a cliffside in a snowy mountain range, only airships can reach this location. In fact, that's exactly how you arrived, by an airship. 
You've been at the party for just over an hour and gotten a chance to meet all of your friends and co-workers. Director Takagi even introduced herself. Although she says very little, she exudes an air of confidence, which is likely why many of the people at this party follow her. According to the many partygoers here, the facility has had a successful year and accomplished so very much. At some point or another, you excuse yourself because you either had too much to drink or you just want to get away from the group of commoners make your way towards the bathroom there are two privy stalls in the west end of the researchers common that are full when you get there so you make your way down a hallway and you wind up in probably the most luxurious room that you have ever seen As you look around this very well-decorated room, you take a moment to kind of soak it in, and it clicks. You must be standing in Director Takagi's room. This is one of the most lavishly decorated rooms that you've ever seen, let alone the entire complex. A comfortable queen bed dominates the northern wall, flanked by a pair of intricately carved nightstands, a tall wardrobe holds all of Takagi's clothing. You see a myriad of nightgowns and uh, researchers' jackets and, you know, pantsuits because the woman knows how to dress. A painting of Takagi hangs on the eastern wall. A simple desk stands to the southern wall, and beside that desk there is a small shelf cluttered with books. As you... Begin to clean yourself off and get ready to head back into the festivities of the evening. Suddenly, an explosion rocks the entire facility. The partygoers scream from down the hall. Loud shouting drowns out anything that you could possibly hear. And in this moment, the screams go from common to undercommon. Before you have a chance to react, down this hallway here that you're uh, that you're facing, you see a dark elf woman covered head to toe in plate mail. You see her marching down the hallway with a heavy crossbow in her hands, and on the on her back she's carrying a great sword. She is one hundred feet and closing fast. You don't think she sees you yet, but what do you do? Get her in. Get her in camera first. Um, I'm gonna look around the room. Um, that's the only that's the only door that goes into this room, right? Like I can see the bat. I went to the bathroom and then and obviously I'm in in uh, the room yep. proper. But that's the only point of ingress or egress from the bedroom, right? Yep. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's see. I'm gonna. I'm gonna look under. Can I look under the bed real quick? Is there anything under sure the bed? Sure can. Make a perception check for me. Sure. Uh, I'm gonna move this closer to me so I can flip through. Perception is gonna be a. Uh, where's that? Uh, eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. So what you can see under the bed is a uh, uh, like a little shoebox effectively is a, is a very small wooden box um, that's kind of like right in the middle of the bed um, but other than that nothing can I I'm gonna pull try to pull it out real quick uh, yeah as you grab the shoe box um, you maneuver it closer to you it's in your hands what do you want to do um, oh shit peek over the bed see that the drow is getting closer um, I'm going to open it up real quick. Yeah, you open up this um, shoe box and you see it's just full of like a little personal heirlooms and trinkets. There's a uh, hand sketched photo of what looks like a, um, a Japanese woman uh, in a kimono uh, with uh, some like 
cherry uh, cherry tree petals blowing in the breeze. All right. um, that was a waste of time. Um, come on, think, think, think. Uh, I'm going to dart back into the bathroom. Okay. And close and lock the door. And I can. I can. I move myself. Uh, you should be able to control your token. Yeah. Oh, I can. I'm gonna dart back in. Um, okay. And then I'm gonna close that door quietly behind me as I do. Okay. Can you make me a stealth check, please? I can. Um. That's gonna be a twelve. Okay. Um, so as you uh, hide in the bathroom, you hear the door kind of like get shoved open, and for you know reasons, uh, I'm gonna you know you can't see this, so mm -hmm. nope, I agree. Things happen um, as you uh, stand in the bathroom. You hear a shuffling and rustling. Uh, and you hear the sounds of like hands on wood, like padding around. Uh, I want to look around. Is there, is there a, like a, a vent or anything in the bathroom for like the, the steam to get out of? Uh, no, not in the bathroom. No, Fuck. you see, um, you see like a, a faucet um, and a shower head, uh, like piping, but. You don't see any uh, any ventilation in this room. Shit. Okay. Um, <laughs> I am going to press myself. I'm actually I'm gonna zoom in because I want to get a better view of this bathroom. Even though it's probably just a tub. Is it just a tub, a toilet, and like a little like sink area? Yeah, yeah. It's all you're looking at. Oh, fuck. Okay. Um. What type of tub is it? Is it like a standing tub or is it one where like, is it built into the space or is it one that has like some give around it? Uh, no, it's a cloth of tub. Okay. I'm going to, oh, fuck. Damn it. I'm going to get like back into this area and because I'm a halfling um, and halflings can squeeze into or well squeeze behind humanoids that are one size larger than them i imagine this bathtub is one size larger than me so i'm going to attempt to hide behind the bathtub and like wait it out for a minute and see if i can hear anything else yeah um you tuck in behind the bathtub and slink down into the corner real good um you hear the, the padding of hands on wood for a little bit longer. Um, and then what is your passive perception? You're muted. I Shit, think. I'm muted. You're right. I was typing. Uh, 16. 16. Uh, okay, so as you're sitting there and waiting. Oh, shit. No, it's higher. Quiet. It's 21. I'm sorry. I have observant. You're... <laughs> okay. 21 okay so without a shadow of a doubt as you're sitting there waiting for something to happen you hear through the wall that you're uh sitting next to or being pressed into you hear this this click sound and you 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 hear the the release of some sort of mechanism. You hear the sound of uh, rustling, and then you hear the sound of heavy-soled boots walking away from you. Okay. Give it another like five or six seconds and I'll go to the door sure. and I'll peek it open and kind of look into the room. Yeah. As you peek into the room here, uh, what you can see in the room now is that the desk that uh, was at the Southern wall here has been lifted up. Um, there's like the, it looks like there's some pneumatic uh, mechanisms that kind of release the, the tabletop. Um, and there's like a, a, a whole 
like drawer space underneath that has uh, a bunch of like uh, like fantasy office equipment, parchments, uh, paper rolls, um, scrolls that have no uh, writing on them, uh, wax seals uh, or wax candles and seals, um, matches, ink pots, quills, things like that. Okay. Um, I'm going to, can I grab a couple ink pots and like throw them into my vest? Um, sure. And then I'd like to grab the, the pack of matches as well and throw them in. Um, and then looking around the room, that's all I see. Like if I step into the room proper now, like as I come in and like make my way to my, to the desk, um, is the door that's over here still open? Um, it, it is still, it is still a jar. Okay. Um, and I don't see that, that drow individual. Yeah, I'll give you back the hallway so that you can see cool. down it. Um, but you don't see the drow down the hallway. Cool. Um, with that in mind, <laughs> um, you know, one last thing, I'm going to check the dresser for anything. See if there's anything useful in the dresser before I leave. In the dresser, you see uh, a different uh, outfit for almost every day. Um, you see a series of very um, feminine clothing, um, ball gowns, nightgowns. Um, you do see some uh, lesser, like more androgynous uh, clothing, like pantsuits and uh, like a researcher's jacket, um, some you know, some coveralls and things like that. But other than that, it's primarily clothing. Can... Hmm. I will tell you, yeah, with your passive perception of 21, that directly above the rug is an air vent. Above the rug is an air vent. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, how high are the ceilings? Are they, like, standard, like, 8-ish feet or... About the standard eight to ten feet. Um, if you use the desk, like you could get up there with any problem. Okay. Um, I'm trying to decide if I'm with the hall or that now. It's up to you. You know what? Let's let's go let's go vent. Let's go vent. So I'll I'll hop on the let's desk. I'll hop on the desk and then try to make my way up into the vent proper. Uh, yeah, no problem. As you are still a halfling, uh, as as one who plays a halfling would know, you are still a small individual, so you will still need to give me an athletics check to get in there. An athletics check. Alright. Um. <laughs> I'm gonna... Can I, can I use my advantage on that? You can use... You can call it out whatever you want. Um... Yeah, I'm going to use my advantage on that. I'm going to use my advantage on that. Yeah, I don't have an advantage. Okay. Are you... Oh, now you have... It was, the, it was the exact same roll. What'd you make? Uh, five. Not good. Not good. Uh, no. Uh, not good at all. Uh, so as you leap up into the air, uh, your, your tiny body... Uh, does not reach up to the uh, the edge, uh, the lip, or the the grate of the air vent, so that you can grab it and pull it down. Uh, and you wind up uh, coming down real hard on the desk and falling down. Uh, and you will take five points of bludgeoning damage. I don't like that already. Um, cool, 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 cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, didn't I? I not add it. Um, mm -hmm. I must not have. Cool. Never mind then. Um, yeah. Fuck. Fuck that. I'm. I'm gonna just start making my way. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna make my way down the hallway. I'm gonna get, I'm make gonna go down the hallway. Yeah, cool. I'll make my way down the hallway. So let me just uh, let me just show you some things as you go. 
Uh, so uh, what you know of this room, uh, because you walked through it to get here, mm -hmm. uh, is that this is a, uh, a servant's kitchen and dining quarters. Okay. Uh, there is also an air vent in here. Is this one lower? No. <laughs> it, is the same, it, is, it is the same height, but the tables in here are slightly taller slightly than the taller. desk. Um, let's see. Hang on. Do I want to burn that that quick, quickly? Hmm. Burn whatever you like. I'm here. It's, it's, it's them that you have to beg. For help. Yeah, I know. I could really use some help. No, I'm actually I'm I'm doing okay. I'd like like some help. Um, Richard also donated uh, twenty dollars. Oh, but did not oh, designate who who he wanted to give a crit to. So Richard, when you when you figure okay. out who you want to give a crit to, let us know. Either myself or or yeah. Renee. Um, Please let us know. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to hop up. I'm gonna try to hop up. In this room, too. Mm -hmm. I don't. I'm gonna use a different die. Okay. You clamber up onto the table. You get yourself all low and shimmy down to like burst your little legs up. Um, I'm gonna just kind of like try to spring rocket jump into the air. I got a thirteen. Thirteen, eh? I feel better. Well, how do you do? As you jump up into this year air vent, everyone at home will get to see what you see, what I see, and you will see what I see as I bring you here into the air vents. All right. I'm in, guys. Uh, all right. So I can see that way. I can see that way. I want to go like this direction. So I'm going to keep the, – there's something about where – I want to see what happened – um, because the, the drow came from, from down the hall that, like to my, yep. uh, to my left. Um, so I'm going to yep. keep silently scooching along, um, until I can find another air vent to peek through, which would be about okay. here. Okay. So you get down to that air vent, uh, there, uh, you don't see anything, uh, down here. Down below. Okay. No. Nothing yet. Cool. Awesome. 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 Um, if I turn the, and peek around the corner, that corner is still the air duct continues. Okay. Yep. Um, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to skirt around and then I'll go there. Okay. So when you get here, here's what I'll show you. Oh. Uh, to your left is a ladder. Okay. That ladder goes 30 feet up and 15 feet down. Down below you uh, is another air vent, uh, of which you'll be able to see some things, uh, which I will reveal in just a second. Give me one sec. Uh, the, the fun thing about Roll20 is that you always have to use sharp angles to reveal things if you're not using dynamic lighting. Uh, which, if anybody who's ever used Roll20 knows, dynamic lighting is just a menace to put together. Oh, yeah. Um, so for, for posterity, I'm going to show you, minus the vents, what you see. Okay. So I see some sort of contraption down below me, and then I see some other things that it's attached to. I am not a smart man, so I don't know what that is. Um, but... I'm going to listen for a moment very carefully and see if I can hear anything. Okay. Um, yeah, with a passive perception of 21, uh, you can hear, like, talking in this room. My question to you, though, is do you speak under common? You know, thinking and reflecting upon the fact that this is called Drowhard, um, yep. I probably should have taken under common, uh, but I don't, think I, mean, I, I don't yeah. think I did. I think I have halfling... And where is that on D&D &D Beyond? Why can't I find it? Halfling and... Halfling Common. Half, Halfling Common and, and Celestial, I think, is the other one I took. If I get oh, another okay. one. It may just be Halfling and Common. 
For sure. So you hear talking. You don't understand a lick of what they're saying. Okay. Um, Good. But there, there are, there is talking in here, um, and there are three distinct voices that you hear in here. You can't see anybody yet, but mm-hmm. you do hear them. Okay. Um, in terms of tone, is it like one, one's gruffer? Like, like what's the what's the vibe I'm getting in in terms of tone between the three? Um, Can I just yeah? You hear, uh, you hear one that's kind of. One is kind of like um, very sharp and to the point, um, feels very commanding, and the other two just kind of are quick and responsive. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't care about anything down there. I'm going to take the ladder up. You're going to go up. Okie dokie. Yeah. I think that's that's my best course of action. Um, it's a giant tower built into the mountain, right? So it's like... Built I, into the mountain. So, so you, you are in the mountain. Yeah. If I go up, there's a chance I can get out of the mountain. So I'm going to follow the I'm gonna follow the ladder up. Okay. Give me one sec. So, as you climb this ladder... Um, I'm sure you've seen movies where there are rooftop shots. Um, yeah. You see, like, this shaft comes all the way up. Um, and as you climb up it, it kind of comes up and out. So you would imagine this is like a, an air vent that comes out on the ceiling. Um, as you get to the top here, um, you are at the top of this air vent, and in front of you, is a grate with bars. Like a cage. Or no, the, yeah. oh, like the air vent is grated. Um, yeah, I'm going to give, you know, what could go wrong? I'm going to give it a little little whap and, and just try to kick it out. Okay. I've seen, I've seen people <laughs> do that. So I've seen people do that somewhere. I, uh, yeah, I would agree with you. You want me to do an unarmed strike for that? Uh, no. You're gonna give me an athletics check. Oh, well, shit. Oh, hey, that's not bad. That's a uh, fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah, you kick it, and uh, it it's dense, and you give it a, a good old whap, uh, and you definitely hear uh, the sound of metal on metal as uh, something outside the vent clangs about. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. Um, can I look down and around? Is, is it... I, I'm thinking it's locked. Is, is that the case here? Is it, is it a locked... Yeah, you, you, you push your head a little bit outside uh, of the bars uh, just about as much as it'll go, and you definitely see a padlock, like, right there. Okay. Uh... Okay, so I can either stay and try to get the padlock, but I don't have thieves' tools, so that's not going to be that's not going to be very helpful. I have these matches, but the matches aren't going to help. Fuck. Um. What can I do? What can I do? Puff instantly a puff of a candle. That can't help me. Damn it. Okay. Um. Yeah, no prestidigitation can't help me. Damn it. Uh. Fuck. I don't want to go back down. I don't. I want to come up here. I want to be up here where it's safe. Um. And Renee can't touch me until. <laughs> until until he until he decides that me camping out on the top of of the mountain begging begging for help. Uh, no. Um, hmm. You know what? I'm gonna pull out a couple of matches, and I'm gonna. 
I'm gonna try to pick the locks. I don't. I don't think it'll okay. work. Okay. I, I don't think it'll work at all. But I. I would. L Logan isn't. It doesn't want to leave this area without trying. So that's what I'm gonna do. Sure. Drink your water. I will drink my water. Thank you, Bailey. Um, let's see. Let's see. Well, how do I want this to go? Because it's not thieves' tools. It matches. Um, yeah, give me give me a dexterity check. Uh, a five. About as well as I expected it to go. Yeah, you jam some matches in a lock and they crumble inside of it. All right. Uh, I'm going to... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, about, about as well as I thought it would go. But I, it, I'd be, yeah, I would have been sad if I didn't at least try. Uh, I'll go back down <laughs> to that to the floor that I was just at. Yep, for sure. Um, and then I'm gonna backtrack to the kit, like all the way to the kitchen, is where I'm gonna go okay. to. So I'm gonna I'm gonna backtrack go myself to the vent that's in the kitchen, um, yep. and make my way down here Oop, to that end because I thought I thought I remember seeing. Hold on, Something let me just here. put that back on the screen there for you. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you're good. Um, I want to go to here and see if I can see or hear anything different. Uh, here's what I will show you. Just give me one sec. Stuck between a rock and a hard place where I have to drop into a room or drop into a room. Oh. You're stuck between a Dwayne the Rock Johnson and a Kevin Hart place? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't like it. It's not. You know, you said drow hard. I didn't realize or or drow. Yeah, drow hard. I didn't realize it was gonna be. Let's see. Okay, it's, so uh, it's it's interesting. Uh, it's... So we're gonna grab this and move this out of the way for you. So you can see this uh, down below you, as you saw on the other side, these are like three uh, pressurized gas containers, mm -hmm. uh, like directly below you. Um, in front of you or in front of the gas container, I should say, uh, is a glass and metal chamber uh, filled with this like green um, opaque liquid. In front of it, you're now seeing a drow woman waving her hands in front of the uh, the chamber. Okay. I want... I want to fuck with this person. Um, on the machine itself, do I see any knobs or like buttons or levers or things that... Oh shit, that's farther than that. That's too far. Okay. I think what... Fuck. I don't want to... Mm. God damn it. I'm gonna... On this thing. If there's a... Um, like one of those like pressure valves where you have to turn the wheel. Yeah. Or, or, uh, any, or sorry, any of the gate. Or any of the gauges? Absolutely, yeah. I, I just uh, neglected to reveal it right here. Oh, no, you're good. Um, but yeah, you see that that like a, like a very classic red uh, wheel uh, okay. pressure valve that you can turn. If I stretch myself and get to like here in the vent, mm -hmm. would I be able to use prestidigitation to? want to like make it look like it's sparking interesting um yeah i could say that you know you're within 10 you'd be within 10 feet you'd be able even to if that. i have to move yeah as long as i don't know where necessarily if it ends if the event ends here or ends here 
but being in a position uh, where whichever whichever works to be in a position to be able to do that. If, again, I will just do this. Okay. Yeah, so I don't mind being right above it, and then I'll cast press the digitation down on it to see the reaction. Okay. I want to see what the reaction that the drought does or has. Uh, so yeah, you you cast that. Let me just uh, do a thing over here. Most people don't like when I do things over somewhere, but I'm nervous. Um, I'm really nervous. Oh yeah. So uh, um, with an at twenty, um, this drow like you you cast <clears throat> press the digitation, uh, and while enthralled with like her movements and her hands, um, she sees the sparks and immediately starts like panicking and like um, like speaking to the other drow in the room. Sound of voice, was this one of the ones that was like the quick and responsive, or was this the I'm in charge one? Uh, it was the quick and responsive one. Okay, it's one of those. Cool. Um, yeah. So uh, you see this drow woman come over here, uh, and then this one you see comes from over here. Uh, and you see them both, like, uh, one of them takes off the cloak that she's wearing and, like, starts, like, bapping it with the, the cloak to try and put out the sparking. Okay. While they're... Fuck. I don't know what I want to do. That's, the, that's I think, the toughest part. Is that I just have no... I don't want to drop on them. I don't know why the fuck I did that. If I, I'm standing around... Oh my god, I'm so dumb. Um... They're the only completely in, 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 like engaged yeah. in whatever the fuck is going on. I'm gonna here, go. So. I'm gonna turn the vent and I'm gonna go this. I'm gonna go follow it this way. A bit. Yep. Let me give you that there. Okay. I'm so, I'm so damn nervous. Um. And I'll keep crawling, keep crawling until I get to hear it, and then I'll do a quick look down. Yeah, give me one sec. So you're I'll good. No, you're you... good. I'm going to check on. Okay. okay, let's reveal this here, and then we'll also give you a little bit of this. Uh, and then I will also give you this here okay so just so that i can show you the room without being blocked by things uh yeah. this is what you see okay that looks ominous uh, I don't like that. uh yeah this is uh this is the main cloning chamber these there are uh as you can somewhat make out a bunch of uh metal and glass cylinders surrounding a pool filled with glowing green liquid in this large circular chamber um, there is no way you can see anything other than green liquid across mm -hmm. all facets here, but you can see that the liquid in the chambers is like sent from the pool in the center through like this intricate system in the floor. But you do notice looking down that that pool in the center is like wide open. I'm going to take some ink out. Okay. And I'm gonna pour some ink into the 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 goop below. Into the pool? Yeah. Okay. Uh can you give me a stealth check, please? Stealth check. I can. Um I'm gonna use one of my crits. Okay. Cause that was not a good uh, one. as this uh, as this drow from the west comes over to these other two uh, over here, this drought kind of gets all exhausted by the situation. And then as the ink hits the green liquid in the center, you watch as it just starts to like roil and bubble around the ink. And it creates this like really malodorous, like acrid, bluish gray smoke. Okay, cool. Like it's, it's, bur like it's burning. Like it's okay. I'm gonna pull out a match. 
No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I saw a tunnel going this way. I need to play smart. I feel like I'm, being impulsive is not the the best thing to do. Um, I know that 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 the the ooze had a reaction to the ink though, so I'm curious about the match, but I'm not curious enough to actually do it. I'm gonna follow. I'm gonna go like follow that that next uh, vent that I saw down this way. Okay. Nervous. I don't like this. What are you nervous about? Everything's gonna be fine. Um, oh yeah. For for who is the question? Um, okay, so always for me. Always for you. Um, so you guys are farting around with that. Or the three of them are, or two of them are farting around with that. That's fine. Um, I'm gonna keep going, keep going, and then. Yeah, it's at this point as you're as you're moving down the the vent this way you mm -hmm. hear the sound of like double doors just get like shoved open um and because you can't see over there anymore i'm gonna hide things that you can't see oh yeah perfect great um and i am alone in the dark yet again um if I go to this guy down there, is there anything of significance that I can see down below? Like the type I of mean, one? I would call it significant, but that I'll, I'll leave it up to your discretion at this okay. point. Because um, okay. as I reveal this here, I'm going to put back the vents for a sec to tell you about the cloning chamber control console that you see. Uh, you see a series of control panels, displays, levers, buttons, bits, bobs, flashing uh, all over this place. Um, the, you're pretty sure that whatever this room is for, uh, it's likely to control the room you just left. Okay. Do I know anything about... Like, do, do I know any finer details about the clone? Like, about what this cloning is? What's it for? Um, like, anything useful that yeah. would help me gauge, like, why I should care about what's going on in the other room? Uh, okay. Um, so, first I'll get a, a, a history or arcana check to pull up knowledge about the cloning facility. Uh, and then after that, we're going to get you an insight check. Um, I'm going to go with that's a ten for history, okay. and, and then my insight is a seventeen. Okay, um, so. Uh, you're not exactly what I would call familiar with the Nagatomi cloning facility uh, per se, like by name itself. But what you do know uh, about facilities or things such as this is that this facility um, usually caters to the uh, upper crust, as one might say. Um people who have the money to maintain themselves and who want to ensure that they do live on in fact in perpetuity okay. um, so that is what you would know about the facility your insight check however um, why would you care about what's going on in that other well for starters um, they you did hear the screams of all of the party goers that's true and then how they were dragged away from you when you were in Takagi's room. Um, so you're pretty sure that there are people in danger. Um, you saw the drow woman waving her hands in a way uh, towards one of the uh, little uh, cylinder, little, they're eight feet tall, um, <laughs> the glass and metal cylinders. Um, in a way that you couldn't make out what she was doing or why she was doing it, but you're that would definitely cause you concern. Like, why was she waving her hands at it? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, 
Okay, I know that's there. So if I need to fuck around with it later, I can't. Um, because if I there, there's three of them in that other room, and if I fuck around with it now, I'm gonna find out real quick. Um, and I don't want that. I'm gonna keep in the vents, and I'm gonna go back around this corner and follow it down. I'm just doing my, I'm doing my, I'm doing my level surveillance right now, and then I'll, then I'll maybe have an action. Um, I'll get here. Look down. And you see uh, another, uh, a, like, they're not stacked horizontally. These ones are stacked vertically. These are an, another set of three pressurized gas tanks. Okay. Um. Fuck. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna drop down into this room. Quiet, as quietly as can be. So I will give you. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Shit. worst part. The worst part is I can hear you rolling in roll twenty, and I'm just like, no, please don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can hear the I little. Think, whoop. I think I think everybody at home can hear me rolling yeah. too. They my just, heart, my heart, they like don't flutters. Know what's happening. My heart flutters a little when I. Uh... Oh man. Another one. Uh, so yeah, here you are in the room. Let me give you the rest of the area, okay. so that you can uh, you can see the whole room. There you go. Oh, dope. Okay, cool. Um, I don't know why I jumped in here. I don't know how to fucking work machines. Um, fuck, fuck, fuck. What, do I do? what, do I do? what are uh, you doing right now? Just. I'm I'm climbing down and I'm looking around, okay. um, and I think the one thing I want to do is, um, I think my main thing is I I don't want the green goop to be in the, in in the thing. I want it to like I want to drain it, um, and so I want to okay. maybe look, yeah, because if there's no green goop, then they can't do anything with the green goop. Um, okay. So I want to look. I'm gonna like. Run down the panel uh, and look around to see if there's any sort of button that, like, button or lever or mechanism that says like drain on it, or like some okay. sort of some sort of sort of cleaning mechanism. Sure. Um, so the first thing I'll give you as you're climbing down the three pressurized tanks, you see something that doesn't match uh, anything else on these three canisters here. Uh, on these tanks, you see that there are um, three stones about the size of your head on each tank. Uh, so there's one one stone on each tank that have very particular etchings in them. Hmm. Logan, you would uh, Logan know has these an to idea. be either you know these to either be glyphs or runes of sorts. Okay, and that's but is that before I drop down or as I'm dropping down? I notice this as you're climbing down the tanks. Okay, you see it in front of you. Um, I'm going to stop for a second because I have an idea of how these work remotely, um, and I'm going to stop for a second and see if I've activated them. And if not, after a moment, I'll just continue my way down. Um, okay. Well, I don't like that now. Shit. Okay. So. And I'm not, oh shit, and I'm not a spellcaster, so I, I can't even try to get these things off. Um, so they gotta sit there. Um. And I mean, with what tools? Yeah, with, and with, yeah, with my matches and oil. <laughs> 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 like, that sounds like a great way to... To, to take a glyph of warning off or something. Um, For sure. No, I'm gonna... I don't even know if I want to be in this room anymore. That that makes me nervous. Uh, no, I'm gonna... I'll, I'll do what I said I'm gonna do. As I'm climbing down, I'll clock the, glyph of, the glyphs of warding, and then I'm going to scurry down and, down and around the panel and just get a quick look and see if I can get my bearings at all as into, as to like what button does what 
Um, okay. Let me just uh, see here, because the the uh, some of this some of these buttons are labeled, some of them are not. Oh, so you're, uh, pulling, you're pulling up the panel list. That's so. It. Uh, I need you to give me an investigation check. <laughs> you know, why didn't... Okay, that's not bad. Uh, investigation is a 15 flat. 15? Okay. Um, so, first of all, as you can see here, um, there are there's some more that you can see because in front of you is a set of double doors and then four windows. Um, so you can kind of see out into the central area. Um, but as you're looking around, you definitely see this, um, this big yellow button, um, that has, it's like a, like a plunger button. Um, it doesn't have anything that indicates what it does, but it definitely is big and yellow. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit the button. Gonna hit the button. I'm gonna okay. Hit the button. Um, as you hit the button, you uh, you watch as um, a series of events happens. Um, so you you hear this like as the doors in front of you. You watch as metal bars between the slit that you can see in front of the metal bars just go in between them, locking the doors in place. You see the this like steam coming around the doors um, and you see the drow uh, in this room, which I will now uh, show to you because they're, they now realize that something is happening. Uh, so yeah, whatever, big square because roll 20. Um, Roll 20. Give me a feature that makes me... If I can make square shapes or circular shapes, give me a circular reveal, please. Um, so you see these drow uh, start to panic and like rush towards this door uh, and the windows here and they start banging on it. Um, this drow woman, the same one that you saw walk towards you, um, you see her like back up and pull out her heavy crossbow and just point blank shoot the window to try to blow it out but you watch as all of the uh inside the chamber you watch all of the green liquid begin to turn from green to red all right um when I hit that button, did it look like any other buttons were like, yo, that one activated, so activate me next? Um, not that you can see. And you don't, like, there really isn't language um, on any of these control panels, so mm -hmm. it's really hard to know what, what any of it does. Okay. Um... That's enough for me. They seem pissed off, so I'm gonna do... Can I do one quick glance as I'm making my way back toward the vent um, to see if there's anything of note that I, I can see or pick up? Uh, sure. You want a perception check? Yeah, please. Right. Um, that's a 17... Plus six for a twenty-four. Four? No, twenty-three. Twenty-three. Math. Uh, so you don't see anything per se. It's all like levers and buttons and lights and uh, there's really nothing in here other than these controls. Um, you hear another like pop shot like impacts the window um and they all start taking up their uh hand crossbows and they back up and start just like peppering the windows here um the fun part about this for you is that you're watching like little indentations mm -hmm. be created but you don't see any cracking 
Okay, so this is... Oh, so I'm like... Hmm, shit, I don't, I don't trust the... Even though I, I feel safe and secure, and I know that I'm probably safe and secure... Um... Ah, oh, shit. Um... Is over here just more buttons? If I were yeah, to it's all buttons, dude. Like this whole oh, room this is, is just a series. It's, it's, a, it's a giant control room. Uh, it's a series um, a series of buttons. Okay, I'm gonna roll a thing to determine a thing. Sure. Um, I will tell you, there's a door on the far west. Like on the oh, west this wall, this right over here is the door. That's or a over door. Here. And over here is this a door as well? No, that's just a, a wall. A wall, okay. Um, oh, if there's a door there, I'm going to go through that door. Okay, cool. Yeah, fuck that. We... I'll st I will quietly open the door. Okay, cool. And then I will quietly reveal to you Please this area. Um, and while you're quietly revealing that area, I'd like to remind everybody that we are raising money for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. So if you scan the QR code or hit the link that's in chat here in two seconds um you can donate and potentially help or hinder myself or help and or hinder uh renee uh in our yeah you can give logan advantage for five dollars you can you can give me disadvantage for five dollars you can give logan a crit for twenty dollars you can give me a crit fail for twenty dollars like however you want to do yeah. this man the world is your oyster uh just like we this want one. you to make this your game yes not logan's but no. yours Make when you tell people about this game, I want you to say, "I was the reason that Logan died later than he should have." Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's For what sure. I want you to say. Okay, I love uh, that. Uh, so yeah, so you hear you're here in this room. Um, you yeah, are room. in a locker room. Um, you uh, pass through. When I say hermetically sealed. You know what I mean by that, right? Yeah, the one where it goes like, the one where it like seals it off, and then you gotta wash your hands like, and all that stuff and pressurize. pressurizes. Yeah. You 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 walk through one of those doors and you see another one of those doors across the way, um, but you see here is uh, a locker room. Okay, um, I want to go to the lockers and I want to start like really quickly just. Oh, seeing if any are unlocked, and then rifling through them to see if there's anything of use. Uh, there's a couple of them that are unlocked. Uh, going through them, uh, you'll have to roll me a d8. A d8. Uh, eeny, meeny, yes, a miny. d8. Six. Six. Uh, you find a dagger. Or as one might commonly know it in a researcher's facility, a scalpel. A sc Ooh. There's, I get, that's cool. All right, so I'm going to look at the scalpel. All right, cool. I got a weapon. I'm going to put it in my... Um, I'm wearing longer longer sleeves, so I'm going to stick it uh, into my sleeve a little. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just to hide it. Um, and then... Let's see. Was that one roll for all of the... Like, what I find out of all of them? Or is there still are there still more that are open? Uh, those are that, like that's everything you find in all of them that are open. The rest of them they have um, like uh, researchers' jackets, um, uh, pocket protectors, test tubes, like they have a whole bunch of science shit is what you okay. find in here. Um, but but nothing, but nothing, nothing yeah. that nothing that stands out to me like uh, yeah, nothing of nothing of use. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um. Oh, hey, we got another donation. It was for $10. Um, hey! From, from you know what happens? At you know what happens here? You know what happens at $10, sir? Uh, either we I... Find, I get a we magic find item. a magic or item. Get, or you get a magic item. Um, we find you a magic item. So here's what we're going to do. Ooh, hang on. Um, they did answer. They did answer. Oh? Oh, they, yeah? They said a bag of beans. Oh, because I put it because I, I put it in there where that. they they could they could put uh, they could yeah. they could suggest items. So, back, but it has to be a so rare. For alarm. a sec, as you're as you're rifling through, um, you pull out um, oh, Richard's this, was, this was bag. Me, Sorry, Richard was to me. By the way, I didn't click on his name to actually oh, see. Oh, that's fine. That's okay. 
Um, so yeah, you pull out um, this bag that you you assume is somebody's like snack, uh, <laughs> but in this in this locker you find a bag of beans. Hell yeah! Um, and now I gotta update, hell yeah! Update Love my, that. Update That's my really character. Update my character sheet now. Um, for a bag of beans, and then you know what? I'm just gonna continue on my way. I found a bag of beans. I'm happy with that. It's a snack, and um. It's a snack and could potentially be something more. Who knows? Uh, I yep. And I'll go to that next door and... Um, I'll go to that next door and, and open it up. Okay. So we're going to hide the things you cannot see. We're going to reveal the things you should. So as you open this door here, it leads you down to this hallway. Okay. And as you turn down that hallway, you see a set of stairs that go down. Ooh, go down. All right, I'm going to I'm going to take the stairs and I'm going to okay. go down because that sounds fun. I mean, there's no it's either there or back, and I don't really want to go back. So we go forward. The only way out is up. I mean, down. Um so, yeah, let me just give this a bit here. And we'll take you over here. Ooh. So, as you come down here. Doo -doo -doo, uh, so you come down this southern stairwell here. Um, you uh, can see coming down the stairs that there is a door in front of you. And then that this, that this stairwell hallway leads to a, a larger room. Okay. Um. Yeah, I mean, I like, I don't I don't really have anywhere to go. I'm gonna. Is that a door here to my left, or is that just a wall? Yeah, to your left. There's a door there. Okay. Is there? Uh, is it one of the doors that has like a window on it, or is it is it closed? It is closed, uh, and it does have a window on it. Okay. Can I see anything through the window? Yes, you can see through the window. Oh. Need to adjust. Uh, and there we go. When you look into it, you see what looks to be medical supplies. Um, I'm gonna try to open it real quick. Uh, you go to open the door, and it feels locked. Cool. I'm gonna keep going because <laughs> <laughs> I do not have the resources for that. So I'm gonna peek around the corner here. Um, not quite step fully in, but like. Yeah, see what's going on here. As you step into the room, oh, shit. you find what looks to be a research laboratory. You see two beds uh, with straps standing against the eastern wall, divided by a pair of tall metal and glass cylinders. Strapped into one of them is a deceased director Takagi with a crossbow bolt directly in the middle of her skull. Okay. Around you, however, on shelving to the north and in the center of the room, you can see shelves holding biological and mechanical oddities, um, of which you're not sure. Oh, man, I wish I was a cleric right about now. Um, I'm going to run over to our wonderful director and okay. uh, there's nothing I can do. She's dead dead. So I'm, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to rifle through her pockets and see if I can find anything. Make a, an investigation check. All right. Oh, shit. Um, 12. 12. Yeah. Um, unfortunately... For everyone at home, Director Takagi is not wearing a dress that has pockets. So you pat around the sides of her body, looking for somewhere to keep something, uh, and you don't find it okay. at all. You find nothing. Cool, cool, cool. Um, um, as sad as it is, um, you do hear, however, uh, while you're standing in this room, from this direction over here, uh, you do hear the muffled sounds of conversation. Um, I'm interested in that, but I'm also interested, uh, you know what, yeah, I'm gonna creep to the door, and I'll very, ever so quietly kind of press my ear to the door and see if I can hear, 
hear anything through it because you push up against the door um you, and you hear um very clearly uh, a voice speaking in common actually and you hear get moving you idiot I don't know what is taking you so long to get past these wards. We've been practicing this for basically eons. Either get this done, or you can find yourself dead with everyone else. Um, and that's what you hear. Um, okay. Okay, okay. I could go in that room. Or... Is this a door here? In the door bottom where? Yes, bottom that right is a, Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's a dress. I'm, that's a that's a dress. That's a door. I'm going to, to shim, shimmy down the wall. Take the a door. stealth check for me. It's because I said the word shimmy. <laughs> yeah, I did. You you used the shimmy. How could you? How did you expect me not to ask um, you to make a stealth roll if you shimmy? It's a thirteen on a die plus six for a nineteen. Yeah, you're good. Um, so yeah, you get to the you get to the door over here. Let's move there. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Yep. So uh, let me just. Do you open the door? Uh, does it have a window or no? No. Okay. Okay. Then I will uh, try the handle and see if it's unlocked. It is unlocked, and it shows you this hallway. Fuck. Okay. So. Bad guys doing something with wards in this room. Hallway that goes to somewhere I don't know. There. I still don't feel equipped to try to take on... There's at least two people in that room. I don't feel well enough equipped to take on two people. Um, I, will, I will give you this. Uh, number one, there's a door here. Oh, is there a door there? And a door over here. And a set of double doors up here. Oh, okay. Okay. So I see that. You know what? I'm gonna I'll I'll dart and I'll check the double doors first. Cool. That's that uh, seems safe. As, check all the as you all the things before last I move words. on. Yeah, check uh, all the things before I move on. It's okay. As you open this room, here you would find what you would presume to be a guard post. Um, so were there any hired security for this evening, um, they would probably be found here at this table, um, likely letting people in and out of what appears to be a researcher's area. Um, but you just see a couple of lockers, a small generator, um, and then a table. Um, hmm. Uh, I'm gonna run, or not run. I'm gonna walk over. Oh yeah. Also, I'll, I should also I should also give you this the set of stairs that go up. Up. Okay. So set of stairs there. Um. Okay. That's good to know. At least I have options there. I'm gonna check all the doors yeah. before I make a decision. Um. So I'll okay. go check. I'll go check that door next. This door does have a little square window. Uh huh. Uh, and in it you can see uh, this room here. What you can see in this room is what appears to be an operating theater. Uh, so you would see like an operating chair, uh, kind of like in a dentist's office. Um, and uh, in here you're seeing uh, cabinets and cupboards and a whole bunch of medical equipment. Okay, 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 okay. Cool, 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 cool. Um, is that one locked as well? Uh, do you try the handle? I'll try the handle, yeah. Uh, it is not locked. I will... I'm going to sidestep real quick and check the last one, because I said I was going to check all of them before I did anything, so it should be thorough. Okay. Uh, ironically enough, sir, you see another <laughs> operating theater. Cool. Um, so let me see. I want to go into that right one, because it's closer to the double doors. So I'll sneak into, okay. I'll, I'll sneak into that one. Okay, uh, what would you like to do? Um, can I, with my, let's see, am I prof did I give myself proficiency in medicine? I did not. Um, looking around, yeah, is there anything 
of note that sticks out to me. I know there's probably, you know, other scalpels and things like that that could be used as weapons. Uh, probably. But is there anything in the healing side of things, the medical, the actual medical side, side of things that stand out to me at all? Uh, so you're just combing through the room, effectively, yeah? Yeah, I'm going to do just do a quick, like, you know, 360 around the room. Uh, just looking around the room, you don't see anything per se, but like I said, there are cabinets and fixtures that you okay. can open up if you wanted to. Yeah, I'll start to I'll start to, to rifle through a couple of the fixtures and see if there's anything I can find. A thorough search of this room reveals three potions of healing, three vials of antitoxin, and enough supplies to create two healers kit. Two healers kits. Okay. Um, can't do anything with healers kits because I don't have that feat, so I don't need anything from that. Uh, uh, yeah, and healers kits technically, if you were just to use them standardly, they only uh, stabilize. Yeah, yeah. So that's why. Yeah, there's no. Um, I'll take the potions. You said three potions of healing. It's three potions of healing. Yep. Um, I will take the three potions of healing. Um. And then I will take, would you say, one anti Three potions of healing, three vials of antitoxin, and enough supplies to create two healer's kits. All right. You also notice that just above the cabinet that you're standing in front of, to the left, uh, there is an air duct. Tent. Oh, dope. More air ducts. Um, I feel pretty safe on the ground. So I'll take the three antitoxins. Um, and then I will take the uh, three potions of healing. And then I'm going to dip out of this room. And those go up. I'm going to dip into here real quick. And I'm going to check the desk okay. and see if there's anything of note like in one of the desk, the desk drawers or on the desk itself. Uh, no, it's, it's again, in one of those situations where it's just like parchment, uh, you see a, like a log book, um, that would indicate the, uh, the year that they, uh, the year's events as they've come and gone. Um, but for the most part, nothing, uh, useful for you. Okay. Um, and then going over to the lockers, we'll quickly check the lockers. Same situation. Yeah, this time you're finding um, security guard uh, gear, um, more or less, um, you know, uh, tabards and uh, you know, uh, drapery for um, people to look in a well-established facility like they're um, protecting the higher ups. Oh, dope. Okay. Um, while I'm doing that. I'm going to, as as the wonderful uh, Dragon of Dragon Rock suggests, I'm going to drink one of my healing potions. Sure, yeah, why not? Um, why not? I took I took fall damage. Might as well get back up. Uh, that's cocked. That's wow. Uh, four points of damage, so I don't even heal back up to full. But that's okay because um, I'm mostly there. And then I'm also gonna take a moment to thank our wonderful friend Keith um, for for donating for donating twenty dollars and for for giving me another crit, hey. for giving me another crit and telling me to go full send thanks Keith um, so in, in the spirit of his full sendedness uh, I am going to leave this room and I'm going to dart okay. back over to the hallway here okay um, uh, quickly that pause. roll you would have heard in roll 20 not yes. too long ago. Uh, that is, you have seven beans in that there bag. Ooh, seven. Um, I don't know what they. Okay, Logan. You knows don't know what they, they do. Logan. Logan knows. You don't know what they, what they do. They do. I have a table. Them, but... I have a table ready. You let yeah. me know when you decide you want to do something. Um. Okay, I got it. You know what? Fuck it. Keith said, "Go full send." Is there a gap underneath the door here? The one that I heard the voice uh, saying, go faster. Yeah, I'll give you, you got a gap. Can I roll one of the beans underneath the door? Uh, sure. Um, 
I, I will give you that that won't do anything. Shit. Damn it. You, you, you have to, you have to bury it somehow. Okay, hang on. Even better. Um, is there... Oh, man. Okay. <sighs> I'm sorry, director. I want to pull the director's body to the door. The director's body to the door. You sick fuck. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. And then... Uh... And then I think you know where I'm going with this. And I'm sad that I'm even saying it. But I'm going to do it because full send... It. Keith, you're... you're full yeah, send it. Full miss. send, which means my impulse is now taking control. And y'all are going to get the show. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to pull out one uh, of the beans. So... Yep. And I'm going to punch the body center of mass, um, Kalima style, to try to bury the bean into the body. Uh, cool. You could have just used the scalpel you had, but sure, do it that way. Um, again, <laughs> sick fuck. Shit, uh, you're right. So, uh, so other than that, uh, I you put the bean. The you put the bean inside. I put it in my. And there's I a moment it... of pause. God damn. What do you? Uh, what do you do? How long do you wait? Oh, I am. Um, I'm gonna back up to about. I'm gonna back up to give myself like room to dart either to the double door or to that hallway, and then I'll wait. Okay. I'm gonna say twelve seconds. Twelve seconds. I'm gonna wait twelve seconds. After twelve seconds, nothing happens. All right, uh, it was it was worth a shot, I guess. And then I'm gonna just go down this hallway. Okay, you're gonna go down the hallway, and then I will reveal what you see. Listen, five years of Dindor Day every every day, or five days of or five years of Dindor Day every day, Pep is too many days of Dindor Day. For that's one too many Dindor day. Days. That's way too many Jesus. Dindor Days. Uh, let's see. So that's your hallway there. This is uh, a corridor. Okay. Um, fuck it. I'm just going to go to the end of the corridor. Um, are you now? No. What are the, no. What are these things? Tell me about these things. <laughs> <laughs> these are alcoves. Back, these backpedaled just immediately. Happen to be, these just happen to be sconces that are unlit. Oh, well, um, I'm a halfling, and it's dark, so press the digitation that shit on. Um, okay. So I'll turn them all, I'll light them all. All of your lights come on. And then I'm going to walk. I'll walk all, I'll just very casually walk all the way to, to the end. Okay. I'll I don't say like, so. I don't like that. I don't, can't tell if you're doing it to make me paranoid now or if you're you're actually being serious, but... Hey, listen. That's how your interpretation, your your interpretation of my my intent is uh, not my problem in this game. Um, <laughs> Daniel, <Sandoval>. so <laughs> both, both, both is good. Uh, so uh, as you make your way down here, you open the doors. Uh, I'm gonna list. Uh, fuck it. He said full. He said full send. So I'll give him one more big full send thing. I'll open. I'll open the doors. More big full send. Yeah. Okay. We'll... Boom. Oh. Uh, oh. You're you're looking at a library. Um, you see tens of thousands of books and scrolls. Um, you're not sure what any of them mean, um, or what any of them contain. But this is a giant library. Giant library. Um, I'll move into the center of the chamber. Uh, do I make note of? I'm gonna. I'm gonna continue to look for vent. I haven't been saying that I have, but I'm gonna look for a vent this time and see if there's vent up above me. Just to. Hey, I love it when you tell me you do things. Um, because I'll give you this right here. Okay, there's a vent there. Good to know. Um, and then what is this guy right here? What is that thing? Just call him. Uh. Name. That would uh, be a bookcase of sorts. Okay, that's just a regular bookcase. The the little the red things on it aren't anything. 
I would say that you don't see red things oh. because my map revealing skills are terrible. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> well, I do not see anything. How can there possibly be anything there? Um, uh, uh, roll me good. a fucking perception check. Just roll it. I'm going to use my crit. Because <laughs> I got four, so might as well. <laughs> All right, <laughs> might sure. As well Fine. <laughs> Fine. Fine. You know what? You walk over to this bookshelf, and you go, hey, this bookshelf, it doesn't look real weird. So I'm, I'm, I'm not going to go touch it. And then uh, guess what? You find a uh, secret door. <laughs> I fucking love, I love that. <laughs> oh, man. Um, cool. I want to... I want to go to the secret door. I found the secret door. You know what? I might as well fucking go down the secret door. Secret tunnel. Secret door tunnel. leads to... Say it with me, y'all. Secret, secret tunnel. tunnel! Oh, my God. And we're going through a mountain. Oh, God. It's too perfect. Um, cool. I'll follow it down. And then... What do I see here? Oh, oh it's It's a cave. So it is through the... We're, we're going... Oh, sorry, guys. Here we go. Come with me. Um, so it is a secret tunnel through the mountains. Oh. Um, I, I'm, a, I, I'm, I'm not done. Oh. With this. Um, okay. So, yes. In here, um, you see that this is what appears to be a collapsed passage. Um, so something dug its way uh, through here but what you're seeing when you actually stand here is um collapsed earth um you would need to uh try to dig out of it if you wanted to move beyond that section there yeah um hmm. you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna cast no i don't i'd like you to tell me i'm gonna cast uh, I'm gonna You're cast. Gonna cast. Un- yeah, I'm gonna cast unseen servant. Because I get okay, that. I get that as a, a mark of thingamajig halfling. Mark of hospitality. Mark of hospitality yeah, baby. halfling. Uh, so I'll cast unseen servant, and I'm gonna look at him, even though I can't see him. He's unseen, uh, and sure. I'm gonna say, uh, w- "Would you mind getting started with that?" Uh, and when when you have it cleared, uh, if if you're still up, come find me. Uh, you feel a pat on your shoulder uh, and uh, a, the sound of footsteps walking away. Awesome. You know what? That's one last thing I gotta worry about. Uh, I'll okay. turn around uh, and announce that Oh wow, we got a lot of stuff. Um, Pep donated $30 just now, which got us to 200 um, Oh hey! That's, she, a, that's she, a nice giveaway. She used the critical care to give you a crit fail, um, but that means she also has ten dollars <laughs> left over. So Pep, if there's anything else you want to do with that ten dollars, uh, yeah, for. Pep, if you'd like to give uh, Logan a rare item or lower, you just let us know what you want uh, Logan to get, and uh, he will find it somewhere. Um, so yes, and type in um, so I, oh red sorry. hair in in the chat. There we go. Yeah, I, I finally got my, I finally got my. What do you call it? Things taken care of. Um, we will draw it at the end of the at the end of the whenever I die. Um, Beautiful. Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, okay. Cool. So I'm gonna leave the secret tunnel. I'm gonna go to the double doors. I don't care about books. Great. I mean, I do. Uh, I do but... You're gonna and you're gonna and you're gonna you're gonna stop because what's gonna happen here. Uh, is as you're coming out of the secret tunnel and you're heading towards these, uh, the second set of double doors, you hear this <laughs> sound carry out from every inch of this facility. Um, and it's in this moment that you hear the voice that you just heard not too long ago. This is... Hana Gruba, you hear as this deep, unsettling voice carries out. I am here with my terrorists, all 30 of us, heavily armed with magic. Unless my demands are met, 
we will kill one hostage every five minutes. I demand that you free Shagalaz the Inevitable, the Anorian Mage, Transmuter, held at Yazur Island. We Anorians do not believe that he should be incarcerated for the little petty things that you claim he has done. I also demand an airship for me and my crew to leave once Shagalaz has been freed. Remember, there are innocents on your hands. Do with that what you will. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um. Well, my friends here... Okay, how good of a friend were they, though? <laughs> <laughs> my, my, what do I need to justify? Oh shit, I rolled high. God damn it. <laughs> they were a good, they're a good friend. Uh, yeah, uh, a familiar song um, from uh, a very 90s Pixar movie plays in the back of your head. Um, dope. Uh, also, we both get an advantage instead of a magic item. Oh, okay. Love that. Um, yeah, so that's, that's what, nice. What would you like to do? Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna open the door. I'm going to open... I, I knew I was going to... I wanted... I was already going to open the door. Um, this this Hans Goober guy is, you know... Or Han, Hanna uh, Goob, it, Hanna uh, Goober. Hanna, Hanna, yeah. Hanna Goober. Sorry. <laughs> Hanna Goober. Hanna Goober. Mm. I dare you to say that to her face. Um, so, you open this door. Let me show you what you see. Oh, that's pretty. So, standing in front of you um, appears to be a very interesting and intricate device. Uh, roll me... An arcana or history check. Okay. Um, no, I'm just gonna crit it. I'm just gonna crit it. <laughs> this is a planar orrery. Okay. Okay, so, so it's standing. So what what you're seeing in front of you is the literal moving planes. And this thing is actually moving in real time. Like, it's moving in real time with how it would be moving with the planes. Like, how the planes yeah. would move around, around it's the like slowly. It's, like, slowly shifting. The stuff on the inside moves a little faster. But, yeah. like, overall, it's just, it's just like, you it's... hear this slow shifting sound. Okay. Okay, that's cool. I dig that. Um, that's important. I think. I don't know how to fuck with this, though. I'm not... I brought the wrong... I brought the, the person I wanted to bring, not the right person for the job. Um, I want to swing around. What's this over here? What's this? What, is that a table? Uh, so, over here... Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, do, do, do. Yeah, so the orrery at the center of the room doesn't show the position of the planets. Instead, it shows the position of the planes relative to the real. Uh, a series of controls on the southern wall of the orrery uh, would allow you to reposition the planets. Okay. Why would I want to do that, though? Um, so this is the control panel that would let me reposition. Yeah, so you there would be like a, a set of like buttons and levers, and yeah, for you to move. Depending the... on what you do, you would imagine certain things affect the orrery. Um, hmm. Um, is this a? Is that an open? Like, a, is there a book on that? I'm gonna zoom in so the folks at home can see. Um, oh, that's too far zoomed in. Is that there? Oh no, it's not anything. It's just part of the bookshelf. Um. What is this thing? Is that a picture frame? 
That is a picture frame. Do I know what it's of? Yeah, you actually see a, a picture of director, director Takagi in what looks to be this otherworldly space. Um, the background is like like this brilliant uh, deep purple, and in the center you see this like swirling pink mass. Uh, and as you look at it, the longer you stare, you swear to God the painting is moving. Painting is moving. It's purple with pink in the background? Yep. Huh. I want to move. I'm going to move back over here. And I want to mess around with this thing to get uh -huh. one of the purple spheres. Uh -huh. Um aligned with the the pink one okay um as you're messing with it go ahead and give me an arcana check uh, nope that's a natural one and i'm okay you pull a lever and you watch as the blue planet just kind of whizzes around the whole thing I'll try one more time Sure, go ahead. Um, okay, better. 13? 13. Um, yeah, you flip uh, like a little toggle. Um, and you watch as the purple and pink uh, right. sort of spheres just kind of like um, syncopate and move in tandem. And then the purple one slows down as the pink one just sort of rotates and slowly comes into alignment. All right. Um... All right, that didn't that didn't, that didn't do anything. Uh, we'll look back at the painting and see if it did anything. Uh, yeah, the painting has changed from um, the pink swirling mass has changed from uh, pink to like a, a pearl a pearlescent like uh, beigey white color. Like. Like this color, of of that guy right there. Yeah, kind of. The fuck. Okay, that's behind. Man, if only I was a smarter person. Um. Mm -hmm. You know what? Can I try to align all of them? Like every you single You can part. certainly try, yeah. Yeah, you have to give me uh, a, a pretty decent arcana check there, so go right ahead. Alright. Oh my god! It's a natural fucking 20. Okay. Um, you start, like, oh flipping switches and toggles, hitting buttons, and doing things in whatever order. You try and find a rhythm, um, and eventually you, you hear this thing, like, whiz and whir and spin ass over tea kettle at times, and then slowly but surely you hear this, like, creaking sound as, like, everything kind of, like, folds. All the metal folds up and comes completely flat. Um, you see all the planets, or, or the orbs, I should say, just kind of come into alignment, and you watch as they, uh, they slowly fall away um, from the orrery, except for the emerald one that sits just outside of all the metal and slowly rotates as a bright green light begins to emanate from the center. As you're standing there, you hear this soft release of stone. As to the north, you watch as the bookshelf pulls away into the wall, revealing, I would like reveal and not hide, please, <laughs> this room here. You see what appears to be 
some form of extra planar portal. I haven't even done anything cool yet. I just, I mean, I've done a lot of cool shit, but. Do you just open this? Look at that. That's not cool enough for you. No, I'm kidding. No, no, no. I'm, I'm meaning in ter- terms of like wanting to jump through an extra. Because I'm thinking, I'm like, I could, I could jump through the extra planar portal, but I don't know where it goes. No, you don't. I don't. You also need to roll me a D100. Oh, shit. A D100. All right, Taryn. Yes, please. Taryn, please let me roll well. Um, okay, that's a 30, and then if it's a 30 and 0, that's 30, right? If it's that is a zero 30, yes. A yeah. Cool. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, okay. That's, uh, yep. Okay. You're standing in front of this portal. What would you like to do? Um, part of me really wants to jump into it. Um, fuck. You know what? I'm going to do the thing I always do when I want to decide whether or not D100. Yeah, leave it up to the dice. Are you? F- it's a 96. Um, it's a 96. What do you do? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a... Step closer. Do I okay? As I get closer, do I notice anything within the portal? Uh, it's dark on the other side, like pure pitch dark. Nothing. Like it is pure pitch black. It doesn't reveal anything to what what lies beyond. And I don't imagine that it's the type of doorway or portal where I can peek my head in and get a look and then pull my body out of. <laughs> I mean, it is not. For me to say what Swanson would believe this door could do. Um, well, Swanson is not a learned man, uh, so he he doesn't know. Um, I think. Fuck. I haven't even. I don't know. Pep said to go in. I don't know if I trust Pep as a whole, though. Uh, I will tell you that uh, Pep has no idea. No, I know. Like, she she has heard this game, like, hey. three or four times, hey, I... but never seen anything of it. Pep just said it's a portal to Tindor Day. No, I'm not going back there. <laughs> took five years of my life. I'm not going back. <laughs> um, um, hmm. No, like, there's still the whole Hana, Gru- uh, Hana, Hana Goober to deal with. Um, the, the, That's true. Why would I? Hmm. And my best friend, who I have a friend in. Yeah, that's right. I gotta, I gotta try. To, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit there for a moment, seeing a way out, and realizing that I have a way out, and I'm gonna dart back out of the room, go back uh, to this main, okay. back to the library. Ah. Uh. Very interesting. Um, you hear a very familiar voice. Um, the reason why it's so fami- uh, familiar um, is the strangest thing here, Swanson, because you couldn't mistake it for the life of you. Because you've heard it your whole life. Coming out of your own goddamn mouth. You hear on the other side of this door you guiding whoever could be on the other side of this door as you push it open. Right? He's right there! That fucking shit! The most vile, human, halfling, whatever piece of shit! He abandoned me he abandoned our home. He abandoned everyone we loved. He deserves to lose everything. And this stone statue effigy 
of yourself stands there as you look down at its feet, seeing bean roots carry across the floor. Okay. Uh, I, I, I don't quite know what you're talking about, friend. Um... Um, you have decided to ruin everything. Oh, I will, uh, no, not 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 for you, fine folk. Uh, I've been watching what you're doing. It's really impressive. What? Uh, can can you be a a, a little a, a little more specific there? At uh, what? What, what what have I been doing? What have I been watching? What? Well, apparently you have been going through our entire facility here, nosing around when you should be with the others. Well, I, okay, so funny thing is, uh, when all that went down, um, I was in, in the loop, and um, your, your, I, the door was locked, um, Nobody came and got me, or else I would have went right along with, with you fine folk. Um, but it, you say nosy, I say um, getting more insight as to whom um, I could potentially be working with. You see, I'm, I'm an in, what they call an independent contractor. He's a liar. He's a tavern owner. All he is is a shite piece. And the, okay, well, the... first of all, it's an inn, not a tavern. Fuck. Uh, so <laughs> I, need me, I need you to make me a deception check with disadvantage. Um, you can use advantage gonna, to make this a straight I'm roll. Gonna, yeah, I'm gonna use my I'm gonna use my uh, advantage to cancel out and make it a straight roll. Deception, you said. Okay, that's not bad. That's a plus one. Um, do I trust that or do I want to use a crit? I don't want to use a crit on that. Uh, fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. Let's see. Can you convince Hannah Gruber? Oh, this is Hannah Gruber. With no. a 14. Let's see. I'm nervous about, I'm nervous about the, the boop I'm about to hear. <laughs> she looks at you long and hard, looks at the statue. Perhaps there's a reason you were to be inanimate from the beginning. She turns and looks at you and says, Tell me, what could you offer my crew? Uh, well, uh, for, for starters, um, free room and board wherever you guys travel. Uh, I have connections all throughout uh, the world and, and can provide accommodations as needed. Um, after that, I'm, I'm pretty good at reading people, so if you have uh, individuals within your organization you're you're not quite sure about um then i can i can i can chat with them for a bit and see if they're a little bit uh sussy as they say hmm. interesting and how am i not to believe that you're just gonna get in my way um well because it's been uh, about uh half hour or so and you're just finding me now yeah and it's at this moment where you hear like many many like levels above you perhaps we've been a little bit busy but hmm, perhaps you could be useful hey Who were you uh, making demands to over the, the speakers? It's quite a speech. Oh, with, these, with the sending spell, yes. Uh, just the local militia. Trying to make sure they know where we stand. And uh, have you uh, gotten any sort of response from them yet? She puts a, a finger to her tragus. Yes, I do believe they're currently dying. And she's just, this wicked grin just like 
pulls apostrophes. Hey, um, all right. Well, um, I'm on board with that. Listen, if they're dumb enough to try to try to storm here, you, you obviously have it fortified well enough. You've done done your research, so so kudos to you. Um, hmm. Well, if they for some reason try to parlay and need, and and you don't want to risk communicating openly with them, I could act in your interest. Perhaps that would be an ideal situation. Mm -hmm. That's when all of a sudden, like, you watch all the lights in this room. Like, as you've been seeing lights everywhere. Like, the, the place has been lit up. You haven't been hindered at all. Mm -hmm. um, all of a sudden, the lights go, boom, and just kind of come down to a really low dim. And Hana puts her finger to her tragus again. I'm not responding. Um, and she just pushes again. And she turns to one of them and just goes, you go check, check the wards. Check it now. Um, and she turns back to you and says, listen, not so sure. Perhaps this would be a good idea to keep you down here with us. Perhaps you want to go upstairs and investigate the situation. Uh, yeah, I can I can do that for you. Um, how would I go about communicating with you directly? Uh, since since technically you are my manager and boss now, um, is there a way for for us to mm. openly communicate? If I were um, to find things out, that is. Yeah. She reaches into a small little satchel that she has uh, on her hip, um, and then like walks over to you leans down and then you feel something press into your ear um something wiggles deep inside and you feel uh, uh i don't know if you've ever felt a leech grab onto you um uh, but you feel this like sucking sensation uh for a brief second um and then she that you you watch as like briefly the the right eye just kind of like pulses with this like purple light uh and then all of a sudden she puts her finger to her um to her tragus her mouth doesn't her mouth doesn't emit sound but when it moves you hear in your head how does this feel i uh then the just like the finger of the ear i i mean it's a bit uh in, invasive uh but if it if it's what keeps us in contact then i think we're think we're all right She just kind of like gestures to the door. Sure. The um, is yours. Thank you. Um, one of one of these <laughs> escort me to the. Listen, I don't work here. I like I, I was a plus one for this party, uh, and just happened to now be meeting you f fine people. Um, can can one of your uh, friends here escort me through the building so that way I know where I'm going. Yes. Franca, if you wouldn't mind. Uh, and she turns to the plate-armored individual uh, with a great sword and a heavy crossbow. Uh, and you see her just kind of like smile and nod at you. Just kind of go, mm. She will be more than happy to take you back up. All right. Uh, thank you very much. Um, Mrs. Mrs. Uh, Gruber, correct? Gruber. G Gruber. Yes. Um, yes. Uh, it, it's a pleasure to be working with you. It's a pleasure to be working with your organization. And I look forward to your eventual um, success in your endeavors to free your friend. You're so very kind. Be on your way. Right. Uh, the, the, the statue of you is just cursing your name like left right and center calling you a liar telling her not to trust you um you are the scummiest scum who've ever scummed uh, according to this statue um but other than that um do you walk back all the way up um i'm gonna follow wherever Fr uh franca 
Yep. Uh, wherever Franca is leading me, I will follow Franca. Yep. So I'm just going to reveal all the steps that you're going to take along the way. And I'm going to zoom out a good bit. That way people can see what, what's going on. Yeah. So her plan is to take you the quickest way back up. So uh, this Swanson is a liar uh, and uh, an outlier and should not be trusted. So we're going to mark him so that we know who's <laughs> him. Um, uh, I'm going to take you. And so Franca here is going to walk you through this hallway here. Uh, I'm going to walk you back here. This is where you see the absolutely obstructed uh, body of Director Takagi, um, which you assume your uh, statued form burst out of. Um, she walks you up to this way uh, and into this room here and then begins to head up to this section here. And that's where we're going to switch maps. Perfect. Oh. Do, do, do. Uh, oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. We're going to copy those tokens. We're going to put those tokens back where they belong over here. Oh, that was just one of them. I wanted both. Uh, <laughs> that's okay. Uh, we're going to hide the things you can't see and reveal the things you should. Perfect. And then we're going to move you over to this map. Oh. Oh, wait. Sorry. I took you back down. Uh, so this <laughs> okay, over okay. here. Uh, back up here, you see her walk you literally up the set of stairs and then up another couple flights of stairs. Perfect. So, uh, as you go up these stairs, you're going to be here, and then she will get you up to here, and then up, up, up. I will I'm then... I'm going to end up getting myself killed. I mean, I you never that. know. I have low expectations, so... <laughs> when we get played to enough the, games. When we get to the top of the stairs, uh, should we take a quick break? Sure can. Uh, so you're up here uh, in this map over here at the top left, uh, at the top of the stairs, and uh, we will hang right here uh, uh, for ten minutes. Oh, yeah. And so once we uh, once we come back from here, we'll probably see the end of Drow Hard and see if Logan can survive the rest of this little adventure. Uh, yeah, I am really nervous. Um, folks, make sure that you are, uh, if you are able, no matter how many coins, whether they're copper, silvers, gold, platinums, fuck Electrum, uh, mm -hmm. whatever you can. Uh, please donate, uh, scan the, the QR code down below the battle map. Oh, it's not going to be there once we get a break, but I'll put the link in chat. Um, share, share some coins with St. Jude's, uh, or St. Jude Children Research, or Research Hospital. Help support, uh, research to help, um, find solutions for different pediatric diseases, uh, and pediatric cancer, um, and also help me because... You're my only hope. Uh, we'll <laughs> also, be back. Uh, put oh. red hair in, all one word. Red yes, hair in, red hair in, in word for in a set of umbral oculus dice. I do not have the dice on me to show off, but they are a beautiful, beautiful. Um, they're almost very similar in color to this, where they're like this yellowy, uh, almost ale looking colored, but they're a little bit fest more festive. They have some gold flakes and stuff in them. They're really cool. Um, but yeah, we'll be back in about 10 minutes. Red hair in in the chat. Put in the link for donations in a second, and we'll be back. Bye, everybody. Help me. Help him. I am going to destroy him. Um, so, you've just been escorted um, after carousing through the Nagatoma cloning facility. Um, you have found, well, 
Hannah Gruber and her crew found you uh, after a uh, statue-like version of yourself erupted out of director Josefina Takagi's body that you planted in her, um, brought her, brought Hannah and her crew to you. You then persuaded her to take you on as a hired hand. Uh, and then she asked, uh, as you've, um, uh, or you asked her, how can I help you? Uh, perhaps you, I could, you know, be somebody who would speak to the militia for you. Uh, you've had Franca escort you from, uh, the lower tier of this facility up to the top. She uh, brings you up to the second, uh, this first level here, uh, and stands patiently waiting for you to go through the door. There we go. Um, right, uh, I uh, I got this. Uh, sure, sure, I got it. I got it, and I'll uh, lead the way through the door. Okay. So we're gonna open this door uh, and you will see in this room here uh, what appears to be a loading dock. Now, you would have come through here to get down into the second layer of the facility. Um, so what you're seeing here are, um, are guide rails um, of which you see one crane that can be like pulled um, from from the back to the front to move uh, goods okay. from airships. Um, at the very back, you you see um, a foreman's office um, because the area to the uh, the left uh, and the north here that's like a, a graded uh, catwalk. Okay. That's about ten feet off the ground. Um, the thing that actually stands out most uh, for you specifically uh, would just so happen to be uh, these four pillars here. Each of these pillars are surrounded by red barrels. Attached to those red barrels are similar head-sized stones that you saw placed on all of the metal and glass chambers. Oh, well, uh, sorry, not those. Didn't see that. Erase that from your memory. I never said that. What? To the uh, gas chamber, uh, the gas tanks you saw coming out of the vent. Mm hmm. Huh. Okay. So I know those are bad and they're on pillars, which means they're tra probably trying to collapse the structure here. Um, I'm going to turn around to Franca. Uh, it is there um, through here all the way through or she just kind of like nods as she like uh, towards this direction over here right as you poke around the corner you can see that there are two very large silvery blue metal doors Oh, all right. Yep, that would make sense. That's the way out. I would take it. So, um, all right. I'll I'll go speak with the uh, the people outside. Uh, see what's going on, and I will I'll get right back to you, Franca. Uh, and I'll mm. start to move toward the doors. Sure. Uh, so you move towards the door, and you actually hear the door you just walked through shut oh all right all right you got this swanson and just rolls up his sleeves a little uh walks over to the door the doors closed yeah the doors are completely sealed and uh, they are the type of doors that i can't open manually i would need some sort of mechanism to open them probably yeah um you're not sure how or why. Um, you do have the the office that you could take a look in if you wanted to, um, but yeah. you you wouldn't be unfamiliar with the site of uh, adamantium or adamantine doors, metal doors. Okay, so that was meant to leave. Okay, that was meant to leave them out. So, all right, and I'll, I'll, like, I'm talking to myself as I walk up the catwalk to, um, 
go to the foreman's office and look for some sort of keys or some sort of uh, something that will help me figure out what's going on. And I'll take the stairs. I love when you tell me that you're going to look for things. I'm I'm such a fan Why? of you telling me that you're going to do things. Um, Am I, have I not been telling you things? I don't no, know. I, I'm genuine. Like I genuinely appreciate people who tell me that they're going to do things, because otherwise, how am I going to know? <clears throat> yeah, I think the um, desk would be the desk would be my main priority because if they're the, they're the foreman, their desk would have the most. most uh, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, so as your um, as you're rifling through the. Uh, the foreman's office here um, you see a desk that has uh, three drawers in it um, and then uh, Daniel did something yeah he gave me a what cape. Did Daniel do he gave me a cape of the mount, mount back cape of the montabang M oh Monta okay, it's well. montabang I'm adding that item now Of the Mountabank. Yes. Uh, so, uh, as you are uh, rifling through this here desk, uh, you have three drawers. The first drawer, as you open it, you find a dagger. Um, or what one would commonly know as a letter opener. <laughs> um, you check the next one lower down, you see a hand crossbow. With five bolts. Oh. Am I? Am I? I don't think I'm proficient in that. Nah, I, no, I'm not. I was about to say I don't need that. that. You know, I'll take the letter opener and I'll put it in my other, um, my other sleeve. That's why I forgot about yep. the scalpel. It's in my sleeve still. Uh, but I'll put it in my other sleeve because if I ever need it, I could throw it. That's fine. Um, and then I will. And then the final drawer of the three. You open it, and there is this very strange black device um, that you reach down and find. Um, you're, you've never seen one of these in your life, Swanson. Never once have you ever espied something that ever looks like this. You're not sure what it does. It has some sort of like pressing and twisting mechanism. Um, there's part of it that kind of reaches up a little higher. Um, but I'm going to put this on the map so that everyone at home can see it. Um, but, you know, because barely anyone in the fantasy world has ever seen anything like this. But it's definitely magical by looking at it. Because you see in the drawer is this. Ah! Oh, what is this strange contraption? It is clearly portable. Uh, you can take it with you. It barely weighs very much. Um, but right. ultimately, you now have this device that has a little button on the uh, on one side. It has like a twisty knob on top. Uh, cool. I put it in my vest. I don't care about this thing. Um... Not investigating further. <laughs> I, 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 roll, I roll the d20, got a two, was like, cool, fuck this thing. Um, yep. You gotta shove it in my pocket, and I'll r walk right back out. Uh, do I see, I, and I, I don't see anything that would open the door. You don't see anything or anyone in here. Um, what's this over here? Is this just a light? Yeah, it's just a light. Okay. And what about this? Is that another crane? Uh, that would be a, a small generator. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm gonna walk over to the generator. Okay. Um. Is there a part that makes it look like it's it's moving or that it's working? Like, is there a part that makes it look like it works? Uh, yeah. Uh, I'll give your passive perception enough there so that you can see like there's like a uh, a spinning feature. I just got a magic. I, okay. <sighs> Cypher, 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 Cypher,
another magical care package for a necklace of fireballs. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Um... <laughs> I don't even know what I'm going to... Actually, I know what I'm going to use the first one for. Um, because I'm going to step back to here. Because it's 20... Uh -huh. Hang on. I need to pull out my, ru my ruler and do math. It's a 20-foot diameter, right? Oh, fuck. 20 foot radius. 20 foot right. Okay. 20 foot. Okay. Are there, there barrels are, there's barrels right here. Yeah. Correct. So fuck. surrounding like that whole, that whole spot around the pillar covered in barrels. Dope. Um, don't want to do that then, I guess. Um, what's this right here? Is there a door here or is that, that nothing? Is that just wall? Uh, to the right. Yeah. That's a door. Oh my God. Fireball. Necklace of fireballs. I've never ever had these things. This is too much power. This is yeah. too much power. You take you take you take one bead, you throw it, it casts fireball. Alright, and I don't wow, I don't need to attune I don't need to attune to any of those. Uh one D six plus one D six plus three. One D six plus three coming up. You have you have eight beads on this necklace. <sighs> this is too uh, much power. This is too much yes, power. Yes, somebody somebody seems to have uh, been uh, uh, abscond. Like somebody seems to have discarded their elegant necklace, and you realize it has it is fulminating with. Incredible it was, power. It was one of the party goers because they didn't want to bring, they couldn't bring their their necklace into the party, so they left it here, and I found it. Um, perfect, beautiful. Thank you. Um, uh, hey, Fra uh, Franca, I I I can't seem to find the lever here. Um, Are I you need... just saying that out loud? I w yeah, I was actually. You know, I'm gonna stick with that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, as you, you know, talk freely out to the open air, you don't hear anything. Hi! Um, it's me, Swanson. Is this thing working? Yes, this works. And it's just this, you can see, you just hear the seething anger. Right? Um, so how do I open these doors? You're going to have to find a way. Oh, right. Um, what is your position on using these barrels here to open the door? Do not remove the barrels. Right. Don't remo remove the barrels. Um, I will not mo remove the barrels. Right, right. Um, Miss, Miss Gruber. Right. Uh, and I'll disconnect. And then I will... You know, I haven't tried this yet. I'm going to walk up to the animating doors, and I'm just going to knock on them. See if somebody just going to knock? Yeah, see if somebody on the other side will open the door for me. Uh, you hear a knocking sound, uh, and then there is a like it's it's like because it's adamantine. Um, you're it's like really like more muffled than ever before, um, but there is, in fact, the sound of sliding metal as the doors open, and sure enough, you see what looks to be. Uh, an incredible amount of, uh, or at least a decent amount of uh, guards that are standing there. Um, you would assume that this is the local militia. Oh, dope. Uh, hi there. Uh, I'm Swanson. You probably heard of me. Um, probably ha actually. You probably watch as every single one of them raises uh, a light crossbow with you. Right. Um, who, can I can I speak to whoever's in charge here? 
you watch as this um, this stout, uh, dark skinned dwarf uh, walks over to you, and she goes, "Yeah, my name is Diana Robinson. How can I help you?" Uh, so I, I said, "My my name's Swanson Cascans. Um, I, I own an inn." A ways from here. Um, I was here for a party, and those people showed up. Um, I have an ear thing in my ear that belongs to them. Um, and I got this here thingamajig, and I hold up the the, the black thing that I got in the drawer. Yep. Um, I don't know what this does, but here, and I hand it, I hand it over. Um, uh, okay. I've 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 worked my way inside of their organization through clever use of hospitality and um, getting them free room and board at places they want to stay so now they think I work with them um, so if you want you just go right in and, and you're you're there you go you're good I, I, I let you in go raid the place do your thing uh, you're persuading please um shit yeah uh i'm actually am i proficient in it I am. oh no never mind <laughs> um i don't want to use a crit yet so that's a five or no uh persuasion is five yep a five a whole five uh yeah Ooh. do i use a crit here Not here, because the captain looks at you with the most disdain you've ever been viewed, because she does not believe you, because she rolls a natural one on her insight check. Oh, all right. Uh, and you kind of watch as she just kind of steps away, and she looks at the rest of them, and she just kind of... Pepper him, boys. Um, and sure enough, uh, with an unfortunate situation, you are being <laughs> shot with m multiple uh, crossbow bolts at this time. And I and I don't get a reaction to it. Well, I mean, not really. Um, so that is uh, two natural ones. Uh, and then two sixteen, two eighteens, and then a natural twenty. So the six, the eighteens will hit, and the nat twenty will obviously hit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's two d eight plus four. So that's oh, you were so lucky. Did uh, you roll? That's two ones on my d eight. Uh, so that's six piercing damage to start, and then the nat twenty is two d eight plus two. That'll be 14 piercing damage uh, as someone gets you straight in, the, is straight in the neck. I'm going to use my reaction because I'm... Uh -huh. do, I, do I get this at this level? Do I get it at this level? Or is it, at, or is it higher? Yeah, I'm going to use my reaction on the nat 20 to uh -huh. try to, def to deflect missile. Okay, go ahead. Roll um, me... So it's a 1d10 uh, D plus 8. And or I spend, d10, yeah. Uh, yeah, and I spend a key point to do, do it or... Yep. He's, uh, you can. Uh, oh, no, no, no. I, I, that's my reaction. reaction. And then if I. a key point okay. to throw it back. Um, D10, Taryn, please. Please. Taryn. And I need a 14 or higher. I roll a 6. Uh, yeah, four, a 14 or higher to get it completely done. What's a 6 plus 8? 6 14. plus 8 is 14. <sighs> you watch as this uh, crossbow bolt is coming right for your neck and you just snatch it out of the air. Um. You know, she lifts up. Um, uh, she lifts up the uh, hand crossbow that she's carrying. She comes right up to you. She pulls out a very small yellow cake and takes a bite out of it. Oh, that you looks. Best not be lying to me. As she just kind of like holds there, uh, realizing that you're quick on the draw, just as their uh, their guards are. I. I, I mean, why would I lie about such a thing? Um, it, it's it's not proper. 
So would you just like to, and she takes another bite, get out of here? Is that what you need? You need to run away? I I mean, you you have a whole, you, you seem to have a handle of, of the of the situation here, right? Or don't you? Yeah, you, you're damn right we do. Uh, and she just kind of like shoves the rest of the cake in her mouth. Uh, she goes, let's go, boys. We're going to get them out of here. Um, she takes the guards beyond you rushes them through the building um, and you hear a very interesting sound outside of uh, the doors that you're standing in front of. Alright. So these guys go and they're going to go over here and then disappear as they go down the stairs. Uh, So just outside of these doors over here you're hearing some very interesting sounds. What would you like to do? Um, I like very interesting sounds, so I'm gonna I'm gonna head out the doors. Okay. Let's uh, see what's up. Turns out uh, that not only are the local militia pretty good at their jobs, they ride griffins, sir. Oh, um, cool. So, um, why didn't they bring those? You. In? It looks like you have a way off of this mountain, if you'd like. Um, but it all depends on how you want to go about doing this. I'm going to very quickly look at my way out, a second way out that I now have, um, yep. and I'm going to run back in. Okay. Um, and I'm going to try, I want to, I'm going to run so that way I'm at the heels of the guards, but not like, not like right on their heels, but far enough back where there's probably a, a good 20 feet of room between the last, like the, the first, the middle group of guards and myself. It's probably about 10 or 15 okay. feet back behind them. Um, okay. And I want to. I'm, I'm just going to follow them down until they get into an encounter with, with Gruber's, with Gruber's men. Um, it it's an interesting statement uh, that you make here, sir. Um, because uh, it's at this moment your decision to follow these guards down here to through the facility. They have no idea where they're going. They're 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 heading straight down. They're checking every uh, every door. They're going through every hallway. They're checking every room, um, and it's just moment after moment after moment that passes. Suddenly, there's a moment. You have this moment of clarity where you're just like. What are they doing? Where are they going? What, 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 to what end is all this, does all this lead? Uh, and you haven't told them where to go? You haven't told them what, what's going on? And a familiar sound echoes again throughout the facility. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. And it's in this moment as the sound <clears throat> that you watch while you make your way back through the cloning chamber. You watch as every single charge explodes in this room alighting all of the red liquid in here with a visceral fiery blaze it courses up your body it erodes and erases practically every single guard that you walk with the captain turns and but for a second you can see her full form go skin muscle skeleton nothing you stand there Swanson cast hands being practically erased from the face of this realm Damn the mountainside cool. explodes and Hannah Gruber has made her escape damn I was gonna fireball the cards 
Hana did it for me. Clever. Clever. <laughs> well, sir. <laughs> no, I was gonna was, follow. Uh, I was gonna follow on the heels, and I was gonna try to fireball them and make it look good, so that way I could talk to Gruber again. But no, that's perfect. I like it. That's fucking great. Uh, I'm you were perfectly cool with it. Unfortunately, listen. That's I should have went through the portal. I mean, you gave me. You said, "Hey, do you want to get out of here?" And I said, "No, I don't." Um, I I gave you I know you two gave me really gave great me, chances yep, to just uh-huh. walk away I know um, and it's okay uh, I will tell you uh, that there uh, has only ever been one person to have successfully made it all the way through uh, there has only ever been one person who has ever defeated Hanna Gruber That's and uh, it. It still to this day is a feat that no one else has ever been capable of doing. That's really cool, though. That's a lot of fun. But uh, everybody, put red hair in all one word in the chat. Get your opportunity to win a full set of Umbral Oculus dice. I want to thank everybody for coming out. Uh, I want to thank everybody for uh, joining us here on this Christmas adventure of Drow Hard. Um, I love this game. It's a great... Uh, I love this... A really good, a really good like one shot. It is. It is so much fun. Um, I really get a kick out of it. Um, thank you for bringing me in. Thank you for playing with me. Thank you for. Um, uh, I love running this game. I love playing with you. Uh, so it's really. It's also nice to finally be on the other side again, uh, with you because you're usually. I know it's weird. It's it's weird to be yeah, but no, it's really nice to be able to to play in a game where it's low. I mean, it's low stakes and high stakes because like we all know the, you know. We all know that we all know the. Thanks, Al. Well, thank you, Al. Um, Uh, yeah, no, it's great to it's great to hang out. It's great to uh, play D and D with you, sir. Uh, It's a pleasure as always, an honor and a privilege. Um, uh, so. Because this is not my channel. Um, my name is Renee Beauregard. I'm one half of Dragon Rock RPG Design. Um, you can find me and my companion, compatriot, best friend Daniel Lieberman over at Dragon Rock RPG on Twitter and Facebook, and Dragon Rock RPG Designs on Instagram. Uh, we create five E supplements for Dungeons and Dragons. We just recently released our Druids. Um, you can play the Circle of Stone, Circle of Shadow, and the Circle of the Hunt. Uh, if you like to play druids, uh, they are uh, all pay what you want in the singular document that they exist within. Um, so go grab that. They're effectively for free. We just ask that you give us a, a rating and a review and let us know what you think so that we can get a better idea as to what you're looking for in the future to, so we can make great things for you. And if you want things for your table, hit us up uh, at dragonrock.rpgdesigns at gmail.com and we'll link up and make things for you if you want to make a commission, something very unique you want for your table uh we're also looking for more collaborators to work with at all times uh, because more work for everybody is great um uh i want to uh give a shout out to uh daniel for helping out everybody uh, uh today as well as uh helping me uh continue to get through uh this goddamn pandemic uh, because without uh daniel i would not be the designer that i am today um so uh thank you dear for all you give to me uh it's it the greatest gift that any best friend could ask for for christmas um so uh check us out over on dm's guild we have other stuff there too uh we have barbarians and warlocks uh there are going to be uh, a lot of more things coming down the line because uh <laughs> one D is on the horizon uh so we need to get out all of our shit um so keep an eye out on our show for me this for all the things that we do uh i'm here um with the absolute chuckle fucks that are the barefoot bandits every other tuesday here on the ecrium expeditions um where i play parent hope singer uh the unofficial leader of the group uh i didn't say that out loud um but you know uh, it needed to be said um other no, than that i'm gonna mark, uh, I'm gonna mark. it has been I'm markering this and making it marker that marker that so that you can clip it and then everyone else can see it. Then everybody else um, knows who the actual leader of the the, the barefoot bandits is. You know, it's true. It's, only, um, it's good marketing. Let's, let's just be honest. Yeah. Let's just be honest. Um, 
thank you again, everybody, for coming out. Thank you all for mm -hmm. donating to a wonderful cause. Um, we appreciate your time. We appreciate your effort. Um, it has been a great time here for me. Uh, Mr. Hanley, I leave it in your capable hands. Yeah, so we raised all said and told, or all said and done, um, we raised $220. Between uh, well, since we since we've announced that we've raised two hundred and twenty dollars, um, which is super fucking awesome, uh, our goal was one hundred and twenty, so that's amazing, um, and and we couldn't have done it without you guys and your generosity, um, so thank you one hundred percent, thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Um, we are gonna run the giveaway. You gonna close? Yeah, it? let's run that giveaway. Let's close it. And let's let's do it. Hey! Cyphery. Go ahead. Oh, okay, cool. You gotta, claim, you gotta claim it, I think. Do I gotta claim it? Can I announce it? What do I gotta do? There we go. There we go. What do I gotta do? It's the first Beautiful. time I'm using, I'm using Moonbot now, so I don't I don't really know if there's a thing on my end that I gotta do. Yeah. But, um, By Fury, come join the Discord. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna put the Discord in the thing. Us. And uh, you can message Logan. Uh, that way you can get a hold of me. Let if, him know. Yeah, yeah, that way you can let me know. If not, then we'll, we'll figure it out when the time comes. But join the Discord. Come talk to me. Congratulations on winning a beautiful set of Umbral Oculus Dice. I will get to you, get those oh, you're gonna to love you them. Great. as soon as possible. Um, but thank Absolutely. you all for hanging out, for chatting. We're going to go raid um, our friend over at Insight Checked. Um, She's playing Pentiment right now. Uh, so go... Ooh. Yeah, I've never heard of it. It looks interesting. There's a book with a bunch of towns on a map. Um, but go buy yeah. her a pint. Go share in, in her stories. Uh, and until the new year, my friends, because it's the last stream of 2022, uh, until the new year, my friends, uh, stay safe and adventures away. Bye. Good night, everybody.